Once upon a time, before the year 2000, Portugal, an early empire in the making, was one of the first to take part in the Age of Exploration. Wow, Portugal! <sighs> okay, Jenna. So, Prince Henry the Navigator was seeking a Christian kingdom as an ally against the Muslims in Western Africa, acquiring trade opportunities, gold, and spreading Christianity in the region. He funded the expeditions down to the west coast of Africa, but didn't actually go there. He also... Wow! Jenna? Okay, so he also brought back a ship of African slaves who were sold back in Portugal. And he was the reason that the African slave trade began and first started taking Africans out of their home areas and brought them back to Europe. Wow! Portugal! Jenna? Okay, so Vasco da Gama is the next influential person for Portugal that did a lot during the Age of Exploration. He went to India in search of Christians and spices, but only found spices there. He led the fleet that rounded the Cape of Good Hope in Africa and went to Calcutta, India to set up Portuguese, Portuguese trading forts. He was, they were some of the first to start setting up colonies in South Africa. He also cleared the path from the Muslims for other European explorers later to go to India, Indonesia, and other East Asian wow. empires. Portugal. Yes, Portugal did a lot of stuff, Jenna. Good job. The last explorer from Portugal, but certainly not least, was Alfonso de Albuquerque. He did a lot for Portugal in this great age of exploration. He expanded spice searches to Malacca, seizing the city and killing the Arab population there. He also set up port facilities in Goa, western India, which became the headquarters for Portuguese operations throughout this area. Portugal was a very influential and important country wow. during Europe. Portugal! Jenna! During Europe's Age of Exploration. Don't do plagiarism, kids. Okay, cool. Nice. Good job.